Power outage again? When we experience a blackout, we are actually being kept safe by circuit breakers. The circuit breaker is a safety device that switches off the electric supply when there is too much current flowing in the home appliance. How does the circuit breaker work? What you see here is a consumer unit commonly seen in the HDB flat. And this is a single circuit breaker. When we open it up, its components look like this. To help you see the components more clearly, let's use this simple animation instead. A circuit breaker contains the switch we see from outside the circuit breaker, which is attached to the safety bar with spring 1. This spring makes the safety bar move out to break the circuit when the iron latch is released. A soft iron latch with spring 2. This spring locks the safety bar in position under normal working condition. Two electrical terminals which are connected to the live wires. Current flows in and out of the circuit through these terminals. And lastly, a solenoid. We will see how the solenoid works later. Let's see the circuit breaker in action. What I have here are three electric kettles connected in parallel to a power source. When I switch on the first electric kettle, the circuit breaker does not trip. When I switch on the second electric kettle, the circuit breaker still does not trip. Let's see what happens when we turn on the third electric kettle. It still does not trip. Let's add an electric kettle of a higher power rating to the electric circuit. Seconds after turning it on, the circuit breaker trips. Why does the circuit breaker trip only when this kettle is connected? Let's find out. When three kettles are connected in parallel, the total amount of current is below the rating of a circuit breaker. In this situation, the soft iron latch stays in its position. Spring force 1 and the solenoid magnetic force is not strong enough to create a clockwise movement to overcome the anti-clockwise movement due to spring force 2 acting on the latch about the same pivot. The interrupt point remains closed and current flows normally through the circuit. When the fourth kettle is connected, the total amount of current exceeds the rating of the circuit breaker. When this happens, the solenoid becomes a very strong electromagnet due to the larger current. At this point, the clockwise movement due to spring force 1 and the magnetic force of the solenoid is greater than the anti-clockwise movement due to spring force 2 about the same pivot. The soft iron latch is attracted to the solenoid and it turns clockwise towards the solenoid about the pivot. The interrupt point is now open and the circuit is switched off. Circuit breaker is a safety device. It switches off the electric supply when the current flowing through the circuit is greater than the rating. This is important to prevent overheating of cables and hence prevents electrical fire due to an electrical fault or overloading. As the saying goes, prevention is better than cure. Although circuit breakers keep your home safe from electrical fires, you should always ensure your own safety by not overloading your power points.